today is Crow Patrick Day. I think I last climbed it about three or four years ago. Um, it's perfect hiking weather, crappy photography weather. <laughs> Today's plan is get up here, get down. One of the things we'll talk to, I wanted to talk about today, I suppose, was uh, why I love photography, what this video is about. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's a bloody multitude of reasons. Where do I start? So first off, we'll get to the top. Other thing, people who don't bring their rubbish home. Just take it home. One of the best views in Ireland, I think. Can't remember what the name of the bay is, but it's just at the bay beside Westport and you can see over this huge bay in County Mayo and across to Ackle. I love photography is that it actually motivates me to go and do stuff like this because I get out and get some amazing photographs and I think that's like a a big thing some people will always say oh well you know you should be going outside anyway but like if this is another reason for me to want to be outside then why not It took us um, like two days to record this whole section. <laughs> um, I was coming down er uh, Erigel, I was coming down Crowpatrick and it was, I just wanted to get down because my feet were killing me at this stage and um, I forgot to record anything else. Hey, we're actually in the back ass of Connemara. I've been working all day and I thought I'd come out for a drive and finish off <laughs> this video. Uh, can I go further into why I love photography? Um, it's quite simple, like as I said, the first main reason is, is I love getting outside and being in all of this. Um, then, you know, it, it's, it really is like a, a great form of uh, a creative outlet for me. Um, I've tried many things, I tried music. Um, well, when I say tried music, yeah, I tried it, but like I, I just wasn't any good. <laughs> There's a natural talent there that some people need. But yeah, it's, it's a great way to, to be creative in your own right. You, you know, you can always make your own photographs. Um, there's no hard rules. There's no, you have to do this, that, or the other. It's a creative medium in itself. And the fact that you can just be flexible with it, it's a big thing to me. And, and that's w another reason why I love taking photographs and doing what I do most days when I can. So yeah, another reason, um, and this was another thing that I love about photography, is I, I'm a, I, like, I am a tech nerd, I love technology, and I suppose photography in that sense gives like, a, I suppose and a lot of people will suffer from, uh, what is it, gas they call it, a gear acquisition syndrome. Um, and, uh, it, it's yeah, I love tech and I love you know those little things that work like when you get a little small camera and it's amazing and it does all these little things and everything new and that. So I suppose where that rhymes into this reason is I what I did yesterday um, in Galway whenever I came back as the reason I kind of didn't film was I was in a rush and I ended up buying one of these. <laughs> I always kind of said that I wasn't going to bother with one. Uh, answers my love for uh, technology and photography and like the combination of that. So getting something like this um, enables you to get shots. I suppose that 15, 10 years ago, no one would have gotten unless they'd hired like a helicopter or something. So yeah, um, I suppose another reason to love photography. is 
great because you can actually like pull up on roads at like five to nine in the evening and there's just nobody and it's pure silence just like listen all you can hear is the birds I had like one car come past since I started this. F following on from my last point anyway, like uh, what another thing I love about photography is like it's a universal language. Um, I've lived in a few countries that have spoke different languages and I am crap at learning languages. I think there's a theme going on here with me being crap at stuff and finding another way to do it. But um, photographs transcend that. They go beyond the, the speech that, you know, you, you speech and I suppose writings that you convey to people. And a photograph, you know, the old saying is a photograph's are worth a thousand words. And a photograph is worth a thousand words in every language. It's something that I, I, I love about photography is that, yeah, you know, you don't have to speak the same language as the photographer to get the messages that they're trying to portray on their shots. Or, you know, wow is wow in every language. When you get a jaw-dropping shot of somewhere, it's just wow.